Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kreitman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make electricity. Now what I've done is I've drawn a single plane into our scene. Yeah, just wanted to check on something. Uh, I've drawn a single plane into our scene and uh, we're going to make electricity on this guy. Now let's go into our shader. Let's go ahead and click on that. Go into our shader. Let's get rid of our highlight and our shininess. And uh, Let's go ahead and make go ahead and make electricity in our color. Um, now, there's nothing in here that says electricity, but we do have marble in our natural functions shaders. So let's go ahead and do marble, and let's do a flat preview so, can, so we can see the process here. And uh, there we have it. We have something that looks akin to electricity, but there are way too many lines. And depending on how much electricity you want, it you know that's fine for something, but it's not what we want. Let's go ahead and go by the numbers here. First of all, let's bring our global scale up to about 400%. And you notice that kind of zooms into the lines that we have on our screen. Let's go bring our vein count down to 1, and it zooms in just a little bit more. See that? Bring our perturbation down, bring our undulation down, and bring our vein blending down. Not, too, not that much. <laughs> Do it down to 10. There we go. And uh, now it goes kind of crossways. This isn't what this isn't what we want. This isn't uh, what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, make it go this way or this way. You can see it up and down or sideways. But on our plane, see it was sideways or up and down. I mean, now it's sideways. That's something you're going to have to contend with whenever you're doing this. Let's do flat preview again and. We have our line way over here. Let's go ahead and jump into our transform, enable transform, and make our overall scaling at 0.5%. That's going to put our line right in the middle, right where we want it. Let's jump back into marble. And you notice we per turn perturbation and undulation down. Uh, if you draw your perturbation up just a little bit, let's do it at 25% so it's not too radical. And then you draw your undulation up. Now you have something akin to uh, a charge, the way a charge would look, close up. Go over there, see this? And it changes. Each one of these is going to change it. Now I have an animation, uh, I have my animation setting set up to do animation stuff. Uh, I have a one second animation we're going to do. Now keeping your perturbation at 25%, and uh, everything the way it is here, let me show you a little something. Uh, let's uh, uh, go from here. Let's go to our end frame. Everything's still the same. Let's bring our undulation all the way to 100. And you notice at 100, it has gone back to the, to the state it was at, to, at the beginning. Let's check this out. Uh, make sure our movie settings are set right. Options and animation and rendering is cool. Alright, let's do this. And you notice as you render it shakes it up, brings it back down to the original state, shakes it up, brings it back down to the original state, pow 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 pow, and it does it very subtly. Save as and save, replace it, and let's see what it looks like. See that? See how it's how it just kind of shakes up and stops. That's what we want. But uh, it's not a very dramatic effect. If you want a little more drama in your electricity, let's go ahead and bring this back to the first state. Jump back in here. And let's bring this up to about the middle. And let's bring our perturbation up to probably 200. Yeah, let's do 200. And then go to the end and bring it. Oh, I can't remember what I had it at. Oh, 25. 25. Pow, pow. Now let's see what we got. And see, when you, when you mess with your perturbation a little bit, or your. I think that was perturbation, um, it kind of makes it jump up and down. That's kind of cool. Save it at, 
Oh, save it. Pow. Replace the one we have. And that's probably a little too dramatic. You might, uh, you might not want to have it as high as settings as that. But that's that's pretty much cool. Um, yeah, you you have to tweak it a little bit. Now for uh, let's get rid of these settings we have right here. Bring it back down here, and let's uh, copy this, and then paste in our glow. Let's bring this up here. Bring our undulation all the way to 100. And in our color, bring our undulation all the way to 100. And one final thing to kind of sell this a little bit. Let's go into our filters and add a 3D aura. And this is going to take a little bit of time to render. But see how it adds a, puts a little bit of a glow on there? This is what we want. You can also sell this same thing by uh, throwing an alpha map in there and just copying and pasting, doing the, the same uh, cutting and pasting that you did with this. You can, uh, you can make it uh, a little bit more electric looking. So anyway, that's your uh, electricity. Uh, you can draw it around stuff, uh, uh, play with it, put it on a sphere. Uh, whatever it is that you want to put it on uh, do that to uh, make electricity so anyway that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later